Spencer to take it here on the right side. 38 saves. Blue Jacks and Panthers Thursday. So that will be on. Uh, it will be on Valley Sports Ohio. Some words for the official here, but the Maple Leafs have tied it. Yeah, we'll see. I mean, this is one of those plays that's going to be automatically review reviewed. Spencer thinks he's got the goal, but we'll see. Mm. There's a deflection over the net. That puck gets chopped, and there's a high stick in the middle of the ice by Tavares. And from there, it's a goal. Looks like Spencer with the skate, but here's the high stick. Yeah, over the shoulders, that's Tavares, and oh, did Marinsky touch it there? There's the high stick. The play is under review to see if the puck will be the goal line. Touch the stick, so that's not the high stick, so that's not a call there. It's to see if it legally went in, and, and was it kicked in by Spencer? Was there a kicking motion on his left foot? So, no question it goes off the skate and in. As we move on to our next angle. Here's Spencer. Skate. Looks like he just stuck it out and jammed it. I mean, there's an argument there that that's a clear kicking motion towards the net. But it has to be a distinct... Mm. I don't know if that's... That's an iffy one. Boy, that's a tough call, isn't it? Yes, it is. Because Spencer gets his foot out. There's no follow through like a kick, which has to be a distinct. It's a rule that's changed recently. Yeah, it's got to be a distinct kicking motion. Almost like that foot's got to sweep through the puck. Now, there is a point to say that, you know, there's no question that it's off the skate directed in, but quick decision coming. After review, there is no distinct kicking motion, therefore, we have a good goal. Confusing, and, and you know, as the fans see it here, and if you if you see a goal that's kicked in and that, that's not allowed, and you see the difference there, it's a fine line. But but that's a that's a puck that's not distinctly kicked through. And I think the fact that he stopped his foot, you know what I mean, Jeff? He did. Yeah. It wasn't a kick where you finish that motion all the way through. He was really, I think, with his foot turned, wasn't straight on, his foot was turned, and he was trying to move it to a stick. Oh, it, it, it just continued through and went between the legs of Maruba. And his leg, you know, when you look at it again, he's pretty spread out as far as his skates wide apart. Brad's certainly not happy with the call. Neither was head coach Brad Larson, who had a brief conversation with the officials. Two minutes left, we're tied at three. John Wierenski, by the way, I repeat, didn't miss a shift. He's up there again. In the final two minutes here. Brody trying to move it ahead. Top lines for Toronto. Corrali line up for the Blue Jackets. Puck gets away from Bunting. Zach steps in front of his own net. Right wing. Pete. Wide of Campbell. Dermott now. Up the left wing ball. Up the boards. And Makaya kind of beat it ahead. Now Lina rips it around. Makaya, a little more than a minute left. Walks out of the corner. Gabrikov is there defending. Bouncing puck. Played by the Blue Jackets. Jenner, a quick feed. Jake Florencheck, long shot. Oh, less than a minute to go. Campbell trying to play it. It was a bouncer. Boy, it got away from him in a hurry. Meantime, in his own camp, there's a shot. And it's deflected out of play as Peruby was right there. Now, how many of those plays have we seen tonight for the Blue Jackets defensively as this crowd is still on edge about that kick? 
And they showed it in-house here a, a few times. But stick on puck for the Blue Jackets almost every sequence when that puck gets directed towards the Blue Jackets net. And I know they've got 42 shots, but man, they could have a lot more here. Here's Pete at the right wing wall into Toronto territory and an icing call. They're going to head back into the Columbus end. Blue Jackets got to stay focused here. You know, they're arguing at the refs now for that icing. I know they're still emotional about that goal that they didn't think should have been a kick. Should, should have been disallowed for the kicking motion. Lars wins the draw. Morgan Riley. Anderson sends it wide of the net. Tavares could not get to it. On the left wing boards. Nyquist out to center. Bjorkstrand. In pursuit. Kerfoot walking in. On to Morgan Riley. Morgan Riley for Kerfoot. Kerfoot trying to dance and protect that puck at the same time. Jackets have their own ideas here. York's ran to the line, but not out. TJ Brody up high. Nylander toward the net, high and wide. Final seconds ticking off the clock here. Puck kept in by TJ Brody. One. And there's Campbell to make the stop on the Wierenski shot, and we are headed to three-on-three -three overtime. Well, the crowd here not happy whatsoever, and there's the man who scored the goal to tie it up. Spezza off the skate and past J.F. Barube, and we're headed to overtime here in Columbus. We'll be back. This one needing extra time. Barube outstanding.